What's up guys, my name is Gabriel and on my last Amazon bestseller video, I took on the number one bestseller airsoft rifle on Amazon.com. But as I was checking in the list, I found this gun right here. This is the Well D98 M1A1 World War II submachine gun AEG. For those of you who don't know, I am a huge fan of World War II weapons. So this is straight up my alley. And not only does it come in this black finish, but it also comes in this faux wooden finish. It is $80, $82.95. Now, I don't know if I should be excited about that price or worried. Batteries, one AA battery required in... What? That's not right. How are you gonna power an airsoft gun with one AA battery? There's toy lightsabers that take up more than that. It says it's only 250 FPS, but I would say it's closer to 300. And that's with 0.25s, not bad. That is actually really not bad. Sturdy item, used it to keep varmints and geese out of my yard. People, leave your animals alone. <laughs> An airsoft gun isn't what, it's not for that. <laughs> Honestly, this gun seems pretty intriguing. Uh, the bad things that I saw was the plastic or it like not shooting after a while. Nothing left but to try it out, so let's add it to cart. So, this has to be the unboxing that I've been looking forward to the most out of all the guns we've done. Straight up, just out of individuality. This is actually pretty big. Like, this is supposed to be a submachine gun, but like, I think this is about as long as my M4. But luckily for them, that's exactly what I like. Gonna peel this off from here by now. Wow. <laughs> that, that smells like straight up polyurethane. How's that for ASMR? So I'm gonna pick up all the accessories first and then move into the gun. So here it has a sling, which like the last one, I really wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it too much. It came with a bag of BBs. Uh, I am scared for the safety of my gun using these. It has the charger, and by the charger, I can already tell the battery type. It has a uh, nickel metal hydride battery. So yes, it does not take AA battery. <laughs> This is the stick type magazine and the drum. Let me just pull this up. So both of these are plastic. I thought they would be metal. That's actually kind of a bummer, but they do feel pretty sturdy. And last but not least, the rifle itself. So this rifle is pretty long. It is remarkably light. This rifle entirely is made out of plastic and it's not not really surprising considering the price of it. The hop-up wheel is actually right here. This is the adjustment chamber for the hop-up. So when it comes to the iron sights, uh, just some very basic like hole and post alignment. It is a bit stuffed. It's kind of weird, like it looks almost like it's been used, but not really. So I'm gonna try the stick mag first. How does this mag release work? Oh, okay. So the mag release is actually just pushing this lever up. And there you have your stick type magazine. This is for if you want to do that like old timey World War II kind of kind of look. This is like the M1A1 Thompson classic. All right, and this is the drum look. So this is the mafia gangsta. I'm walking here look. And you know who doesn't like a drum bag? One of them looks pretty classic. The other one looks like straight up New York 1940s mafia movie. Like it is mostly plastic and stuff. So you, you feel uh, the difference in quality between this and, for example, my uh, regular M4, my Lancer Tactical. But of course, like everything else, what really matters is how well it shoots. So let's take it to the field and find out. As you can see, something's different than other videos. I'm all alone. <laughs> this video around Caleb couldn't be here and I couldn't invite other of my friends because they're all so busy. But anyway, I can't really do gameplay this video. I'm really sorry. A lot of you might be asking like, uh, why, why, why aren't you doing the game? Why aren't you giving the people what they wanted? I tried, all right, I tried. Uh, this video has been so hard to make. Uh, this is the third time that I'm trying to record the shooting segment and the, the reason that I'm, make, I'm not making gameplay is that it feels so weak. Like once I took it out, and it got hit by one BB. I was like, this is gonna break. Hit. 
And that's not the point either. Like, I don't want it to break. I don't want to just run out and be like, oh, I know I'm going to break this. Let me just go do that. So I, I got to get creative with it. Go back to my roots of shooting targets. So I'm over at Ground Zero back again doing some testing reviews in this beautiful woodland area. I have set up water gallons at different positions all around this area and I'm going to test how accurate the Tommy gun actually is. So I've already shot this Tommy gun before as I said because I tried to film this video so many times but uh, to be honest I haven't used it too much I've used it just a little bit and I can tell you from now it seems pretty weak but again all in fair shots let's see what it can actually perform. And I also brought the AK-74U from my last video if you haven't checked it out I'll leave a link in the description and a card above. Uh, I'm gonna see which one outperforms which. My money's on the AK-74U, but whatever. But we're gonna figure it out, so I'm just gonna set everything up real quick and then I'll set up the tripod and start with the shooting. Also, I'm really sorry if the quality isn't great because uh, it is very cloudy and dark and we are under a big tree, actually multiple trees. But regardless of that, look at how pretty it is. Look at that, wow. Look at that tree, wow. I'm actually in the backyard of a couple of people. You can't see it because of the brightness, but this is all just backyard. So I'm just making a fool out of myself in front of everybody for the sake of entertainment. Yay. I've become the mafia boss I've always wanted to be. That's a lie. The mafia's bad, kids. There's nothing cool about the gangster life. I'm gonna right here and I'm gonna strap up a GoPro. Please don't make fun of me. My hair always looks really weird when I put this on. <laughs> So usually I would recommend using eye protection when you're trying to do this kind of shooting gallery thing. I actually left my eye protection. That was super responsible of me. Do not do that. I'm just going to step back, make sure it's a safe distance that no ricochets can actually reach me. And we'll start shooting in a second. Right, so I can already hear thunder wanting to like rain on my parade, but I'm not going to let it because positivity overrules all. And we're going to shoot, all right? So I'm just going to start shooting and we'll take some time and see how it starts. All right. Ready, I'm using semi by the way. Ready, set, go. Hit, 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 a little hit. All right, so the little branch got in my way, but let's just ignore that for now. I'm gonna try again and see if I can just drill this in for a lower time. So far the accuracy is actually pretty great, but like I said, it's shooting super weak. Like, I don't know if you hear it. It sounds like a toy plunger. Like, it doesn't sound great. But uh, let's try this again. All right, go. Hit, 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 hit. All right, so yeah, this gun has really great accuracy. That is surprising. But uh, it's just not, not all too good. When I first handled it, I was like, all right, it's plasticky, but it's fine. But like running with it, I was like, oh no, if I trip, this is gonna be absolutely torn. All right, so this is the third time around. Let's see, I'm gonna try and do two shots each just to give it a little bit of variant. Uh, so let's try that, go. Hit, 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 hit. All right, I think I'm just gonna switch out to the AK and see in comparison the snappiness because like I noticed the, the trigger Like the trigger sensitivity on this is super low. So let's see what $18 can get you a, Like worth of a difference. So I'm just gonna switch out and uh, let's see how the AK does Hit 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 All right, so with this gun, it's a little bit harder to aim because kind of the rails get in the way and this site isn't the most accurate. But again, once you have a mental trajectory, you can kind of figure it out. I'm sorry if you can hear all of that like construction mess. I don't know what they're doing back there. All right, second attempt. Three, two, one, go. Hit, hit, hit. Oh. Hit, hit, hit. hit. All right. So I don't know what happened in like the third or fourth, like I just kind of slugged off. Hit. 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 Oh. Hit. 
All right, I'm gonna switch over to just the GoPro, give, you, give myself a little bit of range of motion and move around as I hit the targets and see how that goes a little bit better. I'm gonna use the Tommy gun right now and uh, we'll just see like if that improves anything. Let's see, all right, so Galen there, there, there. There's a lizard on there. Oh no, I can't shoot it with the lizard on. Move, buddy, come on, come on, I can't shoot you. I love lizards. There you go, thank you. Two, one, go. Hit. Hit, 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 hit. Why isn't it, did it, did I hit it? I think I might have hit it, I'm not sure. So all in all, you guys know that more than anybody else, I wanted this gun to be great. But the thing is, it, it really isn't. Like, I can't put it any other way. And I don't want to bash it because I don't like bashing products either. But I, I do want to say it as it is, all right? I don't want to be the type of person that it's like, everything's great, everything works. It broke on me on the first day. But you know, this is fantastic. Like, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't want to promote something that I wouldn't get myself as if I would. The trigger response is super low. Uh, the accuracy is surprisingly good, but the sights are pretty bad. The plastic feels like it'll break on you in any second. Um, so really, I can't see it be used in any other way that's not just a prop piece. I feel like for the extra $18, you can get the AK-74U and it would be so much better of an option. It's a sad day. We all want everything to be super great and super amazing, especially for cheap. But you know, this is the reality of the situation. It's kind of what we have to deal with, but it's not a problem. You know, you win some, you lose some. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a nice day and stay sharp.